Welcome ladies and gentlemen to the second episode of our Albok Biki Kajimo. This what you can now see in the video in the background is something new I want to try out. I always want to basically say hi and why I do so, why I do my intro, I want to show you this and then talk about some uh, comments. So basically what this is is just comments from you guys. I probably will call it something like community faults or something and I just want to show you guys and talk about the best comments and they don't always have to be positive. If you say um, you made a mistake or you are shit or whatever, it, uh, criticism, it's completely fine. I will always take comments that either got like a lot of likes or comments that um, are very interesting and important for the next video, like the ones that i am uh, chosen this time because we're in a transfer window and uh, all about the transfer window and about the transfers we should do. There can also be just something I want to make sure that everybody saw the comment and or something I just want to talk about and want to not only tell this one dude but you all, whatever. So I just want to try this out and see if you like it or not and if I like it or not. So I would like you to tell me in the comments as well if you like this idea or not. If you say yes, this is very interesting to see the comments, to see what you say about it, I like it. It's a nice idea or if you say, to be honest, I saw most comments already. I think it's more of a waste of time, it's probably a minute or two minutes I will just skip, so um, I don't like it, I will not watch it, so that's just something I would like to know, because if you like it, then I will continue doing it, of course, if a lot of you do say, I don't think it's really worth the time and I will just skip it, then I will not do it anymore, because then there is no reason to, but oh, sorry, I think I just hit the mic, um, if so, then I'm very sorry, so let's talk about the comments I want to talk about this time, it's four in total, the first one I got, is from Maxwell, you probably already uh, still know him, he said I should buy Copenhagen players. And I will not do that. And why do I not do that? Just because of ma two main reasons. There's also the reason that I have a friend from Denmark, he is actually from near Arburg, I think, but he's a Copenhagen fan. Actually the mention name has something to do with him, I wouldn't tell you what exactly, but it has something to do with him. You wouldn't understand, it's some, um, that you missed some informations, but um, the thing is he's Copenhagen fan, we are always like kind of uh, yeah, talking shit about each other's club, so here about Schalke, I am about Copenhagen, and if I now sign Copenhagen players, I don't know man, that wouldn't really make sense, but the two main reasons are that one, of course, in this game mode in the league, the only team we probably have to fight against for the league title is Copenhagen, so if we just sign the best players, it's just getting boring to be honest, and of course at some point I'm gonna simulate most league games, because my team is just too strong, and it's not that interesting anymore, but... The thing is, and of course because there's no second league, the teams won't change, but the thing is that of course I still want to have some diff some like fight in the league, something to fight for, it. not just simulate every game and the only team that can deliver this fight is Copenhagen, so this is one of the reasons I don't want to sign their players. The second reason is the players we want to sign are 60 weighted players, so 60 to 69 with good potential of at least 80 and they are worth less than a million and I don't know if any of them is playing for Copenhagen I don't even think one of the Copenhagen players is in that category so I don't, I'm not interested in signing Copenhagen players and I think it would be bad for this series that's why I will not sign as well if any other um, Danish team is getting very strong I will not sign their players the only exceptions would be that either a region, free agent or youth player is joining Copenhagen and this will be interesting or if one of our players uh, one of the players that are now on my shortlist is joining Copenhagen for example this transfer window and in the two years you want to sign him then I will sign him from Copenhagen but all the players that are right now in real life playing for them when the start of this came out are not getting signed in this series the second comment I want to talk about is from Neil Eggerstedt I hope I pronounced it correctly he, may, he is quite active in this community so thank you for uh, commenting again. He said definitely signed Zar, the left finger, um, and Kanatsis Kutz, or whatever his name was. It was something like that, I can't remember as well. Um, and he said, I should scout somebody or look at somebody called Mua Muasa, I can't remember his name correctly. He's playing for Nancy in France. He's a left back, he's 6 right in the start, is 17 years old, and I checked he has a 78 potential. So that's why I didn't really look at him because he's not that um, not has not the potential of 80 plus, so just 78. And keep up the great work uh, I will do, <laughs> hopefully. Um, but yeah, this is something I want to talk about. The same for two more comments, um, and then when I make a like a conclusion. DJH Gaming said try and get a year from Celtic and 
Um, that's the thing is, I will put him on my short list, that's something I want to talk about, but the thing with that is that he's on loan at Celtic, so I cannot sign him in this transfer window, and Dimitri said on this season, Dimitri said get on loan Justin Kleibert. So these are the four comments. Because of all the things I said, based on the things I said in episode 1 and these four comments, the following thing will now happen. First of all, I'm gonna um, put Muasa the left back as well as, what was his name again, Ayer from Celtic on my shortlist. Both of them will be on my shortlist. Muasa is worse than a left back I already got and we don't really need a left back, so there is not really a high chance that I will sign him, but it might still happen. Uh, yeah, I will definitely sign him in this to answer windows on this one on January just because he's on loan, so I cannot do it. But they're both on my uh, on my shortlist now. What do I want to do? I told him the last episode the first thing, the most important thing I want to do is sign a center back. And because you didn't tell me anything different, I will go for this one center back from Italy. Um, and we'll try to sign him if it's possible. I would even spend a bit more if it's somehow possible to get him. I will definitely sign him 100%. If not, then I will go for one of the other two. I think then it's Man City player. Um, but if it's somehow possible, even if he's half a million more expensive, I will sign this Italian center back. Then the next thing is we want to do after we did that is left wing and center mid. For the left wing side, I will go for Sa, as Noel told me, go for Sa. I will try to sign him the same thing. If it's somehow possible, I will do. If not, then we will think about it again. But if it's somehow possible, I will definitely sign him. In the center mid position, um, you didn't tell me anything and they are all kind of the same. So I will make offers for all and I think they're going to be different though in um, the money we have to spend to sign them, as well as in the wage. For example, this one Alex Garcia dude, who's playing for City, he might be on already like 20, 30k because he's playing for City and City's probably giving him a lot of money. A, son, a different centre might just be on like 6, 7 thousand um, euros per week. So I will make an offer for all of them, see who is the cheapest and then make a decision between the one or two feet cheapest. Of course not between just one, but two or three cheapest players. If we have done all these three, these are, this is the goal in this episode, just to sign these three players. I won't do anything else probably. My goal in this episode is to sign these three players. The Italian center back Zah and one of the centimates. If I have done it, I will end the episode and in the end of the episode I'm gonna make a vote between a total of five different players. And if we have the money to sign one more. And these five gonna be, for example, there is gonna be this Muasa dude as one option for sure. Another option is definitely going to be another center, uh, center mid, or no wait, center back, not center mid, so that's definitely an option. There's definitely got, um, going to be an option to uh, sign Kluivert on loan. The striker, um, Noel told me this Turkish striker is definitely an option, so you can see the things you just told me that I cannot do it now, the left back or the Turkish striker, or uh, yeah, he's just on my shortlist, or for example, Kluivert on loan. I will not do this episode, but if everything works out this one and we have the money, I will make a vote in the top right and then you can vote what the fourth or the fifth transfer is gonna be. And then I will just, whatever the f has the most vote is the first thing I'm gonna do. If you did it and still have money, or if you cannot do it, then I will go with the one with the second most votes. This is basically how this transfer window will work. These three players and then we go from transfer to transfer and see if we still have the money. And of course I want to keep some in case we want to do a transfer in January or sign a youth scout or whatever. So that's what we want to do. I will now quickly put these two players on my shortlist as well as make the transfer list. And I think I will actually present you the transfer list as well, be quick. Okay guys, um, we do have some problems. And the problems are that almost every single player in this freaking squad recently joined. I don't understand what the fuck happened, but all the players I wanted to sell recently joined. The only player I wanted to sell and I actually can sell, there's only one and this is this dude, Abilgar. So we will, we will not be able to get any money actually from selling players. He's not interesting because he's like the 6th, 7th best center mid, he's 20, low rated, no reason to keep him, so I will transfer list him. Um, just, just to compare, these players earn like 1.5 to 2,000 um, euros in average. A few ones, of course, a lot more like Sylvester, for example, or Anna Veltz, or what's, whatever. But if you compare that to my Isida Della Cremant, for example, we have like 80 million players that earn half of that. That's just, that's what I think just does make sense. The players I want to sell, I want to sell this dude, he recently joined, I'm trying to loan him out. Flores, I want to sell him, he recently joined, so I can also not offer him on a um, freaking swap deal, so that's very bad. I want to actually try um, use him to get Sa, the left finger, so that's bad. Um, you can see he recently joined. So I will try to loan him out to save the wage. 
I might actually just keep him, I'm not sure yet. Um, the left back I want to sell can only loan him out because, as you can see, he recently joined. The center back I want to sell recently joined, but I will definitely loan him out because I don't want to use him. I will, I will not use him and it's a lot of rage we could save up here. So I will definitely, he's the only one I will definitely loan out as soon as an, op, um, pos, um, um, an offer and sell this dude. Between the other ones, of course, these two I will definitely loan out and Flores I will have to decide. All the other ones I want to keep because the squad is not that big. I mean, if you get out all these five players, we have 22 players. That's uh, not enough, I would say. We definitely need to make some signings. Or they all recently joined. So, yeah, for selling players, we won't make money. An option to make money, of course, will be the B-season tournament. So hopefully we can choose it straight away and get around 1.5 something. You can see again, recently, uh, uh, unfortunately, I didn't want to inquire. Can we please choose a B-season? Or did I already do it? Wait, did I already choose a trans? Um, oh, I already did it, then I'm stupid. Um, then we can have a look at our group stage opponents. Son, Derge, whatever, I think from Iceland maybe, I have no idea. Holsen and Aarhus. Never heard this team, I think it was 1.8 million we can get in total. Well guys, we straight away do have another problem. Something I didn't recognize and didn't think would happen, they all recently joined as well. So this recently joined problem is not only in our squad, but also on the players in our shortlist. So I can think about loading them out, that's maybe all I can do. So for example, Saar, I will, I cannot even make an offer, I think. I will try to make a loan offer for Saar, for example. Um, I, I will see, first of all, okay. I will try to make a loan offer with a future fee. I don't understand, I don't think they will accept it, but I will first try that. If they don't accept, you have, I have nothing to, okay. If they don't accept, then I might just go for normal um, one, but I didn't actually recognize that he recently joined, that's not nice. So let's start actually with the best one, two year loan offer and a transfer offer of, let's say, let's start with four million. Let's see what they say. Bastoni also recently joined, so I will try the same. Garcia is possible, and he is possible. So two players we can at least make an offer for. So basically, the left winger we have to try to make something for loan, the center back as well, and there are only two center mids we can make an offer for Koulibaly and Garcia. The most I can offer for the center back from Atalanta, the one I really want, is two million as future fee. The board is not allowing me to do offer, uh, do offer anything more than two million, and they reject it. So the only thing I still can do, basically, is to just go for loan offer. I would probably do that. Two years for loan, I would I would just do that for now. Um, we might have to loan out a few players. I hate to loan out players because I just don't, I really hate it. But we might actually have to do it in the style of this Kaye mod. And they also reject the 4 million I offered for Sa. So yeah, we can only go for normal loan offers. That's probably all I can do right now. Alright, in the second to ending, we already have somebody improving his rating. Blabjerk. Blabjerk. What the fuck is that A with a thing on that? With a bubble on that? What the hell? He got an A and a C and already improved all his stats in his 62 weight. That's some nice growth. He's one of the most interesting players in this squad. 21 years old, seems to have some potential, decent weight, decent defending skills. He's quite tall, quite pacey, I like that. I mean, he's not that tall, he's especially pacey. But yeah. Beskar accepted a transfer offer, but Garcia also already accepted a contract offer. We, he is valued 1.65, I made an offer of 1.2. Man City straight away accepted. He's on 15k, I offered him the same, he accepted. I told you last time I think he is the best one, so I will have a look again, because if he is the best one and we can already sign him, then I don't think we have to go for anybody else right now. So, these two are only loanies. I mean, he is okay, but uh, I would say, I don't know, I think he is a bit worse, maybe. He is at least worth a lot less, so that's one of the things. Özcan is almost on level but also a lot worse. I think he is actually based he or Koulibaly, these two are the best. It's kinda the same. Uh, I think Garcia is actually a bit better. I think I have to go for Garcia. He is medium low, feaster feaster, right footed, it's not the most amazing thing. Medium medium feaster so a bit better but I think it. I think we should go for Garcia here. So I think the first transfer in this series is gonna be the signing of Alex Garcia for 1.2 million euros. In a wage of 15,000 uh, pounds a year a week. He's a crucial first team player, 19 years old, and I think he was like something 67 or so weighted. 
So for now I will not go for a different center mid because um, I think one is enough but again in the end of this video I might show you more. Let's have a look at him. How high is he rated? 64 so if you made a big mistake I thought he would be 67. He is not the fastest but he doesn't have to be here so right at least strength is not okay. Stamina is where... Mm. Um, but I mean we cannot sign the most amazing players yet and he will call a lot so I'm very happy to have him in this team. We have Atalanta accepting a loaner for, for two years, for Bastoni the same with Sa for two years. Um, I have to change the budget real quick but I should definitely be able to do both. I think that I'm gonna do both. Which actually means that at the moment, of course it wasn't the way we wanted to do have it because we wanted to sign them all but in the end we got all the players he wanted to. We got Sa, we got Bastoni. And we got um, the cinematic in Garcia, but of course only one of them is signed. But for two years we got all of them and in two years we need the money to sign Bastoni and Za if we of course uh, want to sign them. But for now let's have a look at them as well be quick. Um, we have Bastoni at a 64 rating with all white pace number I think is like low 60, jumping door is quite decent. He's not going bonk for everything, but he is good in defending medium, medium is the best, that's the only thing I don't like about him, but he's also 6 foot 3 and has good potential, so the only thing I really don't like is his work rates. So 68 weight with an 89 acceleration and 91 sprint speed, gonna be since a long time because that we don't have anybody with pace, um, a pacey player again. Attack position is also good at 65, stamina is okay, strength is actually also better than I expected it to be. Puncto is okay, tripling is good, finishing is kinda good. Passing is is quite meh, pa uh, shooting is decent, high low, two star weak foot, three star skill moves, right footed. So I think we're gonna have a lot of fun with him. I do like um, and there's an actually on the left side, but I think of course I'm gonna put him in there. The same for Bastoni, gonna put him in there for Plabiak. We can definitely sign more players. In the center back position we do have four center backs now, but one of them is the one I really do not like and actually want to loan out. So to sign another center back is definitely an option and then it would be other Rabio. We got a transfer offer for Ramkilde. We want to loan him out, we got a one year loan offer from Cramsby Town, so that's perfectly fine. Will give us a little bit of rage at least, like a thousand. We got a transfer offer for the player I wanted to sell, it's basically his value, so another offer we're just gonna accept will give us a little bit of money and again a little bit of wage. So in around 3000 euros is what you can save by loaning on the one player and selling this one. We got a loan offer for at, uh, for this one dude we want to loan out. Look at the wage, 18.7, boom, 27.4. That's a lot of money we're saving up. I don't like him, he's extremely slow as old, I don't want him. Atalanta is better than us, so I don't get why they would loan him out. But here you have him. They can have this dude and this is more or less the decision as well to sign Ada by Rayo because now we again have just three center backs, so I'm 95% I'm gonna sign him. Game number one with this squad and this Kaye mod away against Sonder something, I can't know. Sonder yes, Kalite Sport. We already got a red card after seven minutes, okay, that's of course amazing. 3 to 1 and boom, and we get a draw because not only we got a red card, but we also had to concede the last attack in the last situation, the whole game. To only get a 4, disappointing. Here we go, we sort our build guard to them 1.1, 1, 1, uh, 1 or 10 thousand and a little bit of wage we were able to save with that. Another player we want to loan out, we got the offer so I will just accept it and save a bit more wage. I don't want to use him. I have different options. I think I will do it. Yeah, I will loan him out because maybe he will improve their play more, I can sell him for more and I will save the wage, I will do that. I told you if we can sign Adabario, uh, Adarabioyo, I will do so. The funny thing is, he's on 8.4, uh, yeah, 1000 euros um, a week at City. He then uh, just asked for 8000, I thought, hey, that's nice. He is even asking for less than he's already earning, but then he says he is too happy that he doesn't want to move, so I had to go up to 10,000. But I will do it as I told you because we do need another one. Because now we have four center backs. He is, of course, the last center back I'm gonna sign. I'm not gonna buy si uh, three center backs, but we needed him. Quick look at him. Yes, decent pace, especially for how tall he is. Demon is there, strength is there. Jumping is actually also not too bad, especially with the headers. I mean, medium, medium, again, not good, but six foot freaking five is just OP. The second game in the preseason tournament is against Horth and Bobby, the strongest team in our group stage. Um, let's see what we can do. Of course, already four new players playing in this game. 
We do it, we take the league for a second time, please, this time let us win 3 to 1 and boom, and yes, this time we do win Arman and Sloth with the gold, so our left back and our CDM backup. Interesting. Um, but okay, to win is to win, we are now at 4 points, so that increased our chance to get through and get some money by a lot. Guys, I just realized something. I actually made a huge mistake. I, you can't, I can't, I, I don't know what to do right now. I thought this is the decent tournament. I just for the first time had to look at the tables. It was actually already a league game. I made a huge mistake. Where is the beast in tournament? Am I retarded or not? I've, I'm quite surprised now. I'm not sure what to do. Um, so I will now just go until the next game. I've, I'm sorry, I actually already simulated the first two league games. Without realizing. And some of you maybe already screamed like, ah, what, are you, what the fuck are you doing? I'm very sorry. I actually thought this is the beast in tournament. I'm extremely sorry guys, um, sorry, we, two games we already play. I can't, I w can't get, go back because I would have to do so much again, um, I can't. Garcia going up to 65, I just can say I'm very sorry guys, but there's nothing I can really do about it. Thank god I realized it now because I would have simulated at least one more game otherwise. Uh, at least we start off decent for league, but I started simulating again, what the fuck. Alright, here we are, the 30th of July, the third game, of course, thank god I realized it, otherwise I would have simulated it as well. We are now gonna talk about the transfers. What I wanna do really fast, because I think this episode is long enough, is first of all I will show you the stats of all the players, just in a run through. We actually just start, here you can see the stats where I will talk. Just because I got them all now, you know the ratings, potential rating, I talked about them. But here you can really see their stats, where they're good at, if they are fast or not, or whatever. So I will just uh, quickly show you this. And when we did that, I will tell you what options there are gonna be. Okay, so let's talk about it. Goalkeeper, I don't need one again. Right back, I don't need one. Center back, I did sign both. Left back, Muaza, they did accept 1 million. First of all, I have to show you actually fast. Uh, we do have the 1.4 and 22. Actually, no reason to know. I don't know what happened, to be honest. I have actually no freaking idea. But for some reason we had, uh, maybe I misclicked, I, maybe there wasn't, I think actually there was not even one um, like in, invitation to a trans, I have no idea what happened to be honest. But we still have some money basically, it's basically 1 point, let's say 2.45 million. Um, we can sign Mazuolo, uh, Mazu, Mazu, I don't know, this dude here, Mu, Mauasa. Very wrong my name there. Um, for 1 million as well as the wage of like 3 to 4 thousand pounds or a year or so. We could sign him. That's option number one. We can sign this left back. Do we need him? In my opinion we don't need him at all. But if you want me to sign him we can. Uh, there's one thing I'm gonna check with fast as well. Uh, we'll just tell you in the top right. I will check myself is if we can sell our goods left back. If you recently joined then of course you would just be second choice. If we can sell him, we could use him as first choice and sell the other one to get more money to make maybe another signing. So in the uh, in the bottom you can right now see if we can sell the good center, uh, left back the 70 weighted one or not. Loaning out Clivert is an option. I tried to make a, um, an offer for him, he's too expensive. I then try to loan him out with a future fee, that's not uh, possible. But you can loan him out for two years with a wage of 7.4, we do have the money. So loaning out Clivert for two years is option number two. We, ha can have, uh, we can do it and here you can see his stats. You can see the other one, high, medium, four star. I can actually show for the left back as well if you fast. The other stats, here you can see them. Now next, next up, um, in the right position, that's it. I, I don't have another option. So the first two options are just left wing, right wing guard. And the next ones are just strike and there are only two. Canet Siskos is too expensive to sign him and he's also too expensive to um, loan him out of a future fee. We can loan him out though for two years with a wage of 7.2 thousand. Yeah, was it is possible. We can loan him out for two years. Does he fit myself football? I don't know. You can tell me, but he is optional free. Loaning him out for two years is optional free. We can sign Lautaro Martinez. 1.6 million euros as well as a wage of, I think it was um, 8,000 or something. We can sign him. Not just loan him out. We can sign Lautaro, uh, Lautaro Martinez. 18 years old. Decent physical stats. Decent other stats. High, medium, three star, two star. We can assign them. And these are the four options we have. These are the four options, ladies and gentlemen. So you saw all the stats. You saw if we can sell the left back. I can also tell you uh, right now, we click in the bottom right, if we can sell the vest or not. If we uh, sign one of the strikers. For example, especially if we sign Latinez, we might want to sell the vest uh, because we don't really need them anymore. And that's an option to get some money. So also in the bottom right, you can see that right now. 
And that's all we wanted to do, so I'm very sorry again for the two simulated games I actually just didn't recognize. Um, I'm very sorry for that. In total, I think there are, yeah, there are 26 or so, or 39, I don't know how exactly this works, because I've never seen a league with just 14 teams. But the first two, unfortunately, already did get simulated, I'm sorry about that. Except of this, um, there's nothing really I want to talk about. So I hope you enjoyed this episode, we did make some, um, some nice signings, two center backs, a center mid and a left winger. And we're going to do at least one more and it's up to you. And again, don't forget to tell me if you like this comment system at the start of the video or not. And that was this guys, have an amazing day. I, I'm quite surprised, I really look forward to see how long this video is because I recorded for such a long time. But on the other side, a lot of that I will um, cut out. So it might just be 15, it might 25, I have no idea. But enjoy, if you enjoyed this video, then please smash the like button, I, that would help me out a lot. If you're new and enjoyed it and want to see more of the series, of course subscribing is the simplest way, the most easy way. And except of this, guys, have an amazing day, I will see you tomorrow. Probably with Citadella, maybe with this, uh, uh, with iBook again. And bye guys.